I'm Ekaterina Stepnaya from Asia. In this movie, we will discuss on one of the common and dangerous fish diseases, Ichthyophterius multifilis, also known as Ick or white spot disease. Don't forget to like it, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notification to be the first to receive information about new movies. The unicellular ciliata, Ichthyophterius multifilis, is the cause of white spot disease, also called Ick. The cell of the mature parasite has a rounded shape and is quite large. It can reach a size of up to 1 mm in diameter. The small infective stage, called tyrons, are only about 25 to 60 micrometer large, or 2.5% of the mature cell. The parasite's surface is evenly covered in cilia, enabling the parasite to move through the water and over the fish's body. A distinctive feature of this parasite, which often can be seen under the microscope, is a clearly visible horseshoe-shaped nucleus. For an accurate early diagnosis of this disease, it's necessary to conduct a microscopic examination of skin scrapings or gill scrapings. But what to do if you have no microscope? Which visual symptoms can help to determine that your fish have ick? At the initial stage of infection, when young ick, called tyrons, start to penetrate the fish's skin or epithelium, the fish develops a visible thick layer of mucus as defense. You can recognize this thick mucus layer as a cloudy plaque on the body or when looking at the fish head-on. Infected fish try to get rid of the ick parasites together with the secreted mucus by rubbing. Therefore, you can see the fish scratching against decorative items, plants or gravel at the bottom of the aquarium. After this rubbing phase, fish become sluggish, freeze up more, stand at the surface of the water or stay closer to the bottom of the aquarium. Often the fins are clamped against the body. At the next development stage of this disease, you can see the first white spots on the fish's body. This means that the trophons, being under the epithelial layer, have reached a mature state and are ready to start the next step of the parasite's reproductive cycle. The mature trophons separate from their fish, now being called tomond, and attaches to objects, to the bottom of the aquarium or to plants. Occasionally, dividing tomonds stay on the fish's body. Tomons protect themselves behind the gelatinous wall and begin to divide, forming tomids or daughter cells. The number of young parasites in a single cyst may contain several hundred to more than a thousand. After this repeated division is over, these young Kichtyafterios cells leave the cyst and are called tyrons. To survive and for further development, tyrons will have to find the host within the next two days and fix themselves on the fish's body or gills. In a closed system such as an aquarium or pond, Finding a new host is easy and the disease can develop rapidly. A couple of days after the first symptoms appeared, almost all the fish's body can be covered by white spots. The presence of characteristic white spots on the fish is the main visible symptom that can help you to identify that fish are infected by Ichthyophterios. Under which conditions are fish most vulnerable to this disease? When you introduce new fish into your aquarium, there is always a risk of infection when adding new animals. When using cold water for water changes and replacing more than 30% of the aquarium water. When using live food without pre-treatment. When adding new plants, if these plants come from another aquarium with fish. In the case of ponds, 
when using water from natural streams or reservoirs. Ick is a deadly disease. The longer it takes to discover that fish are affected by ick, the more fish will suffer and die in your aquarium or pond. To treat fish against white spot, you can use Asher Exit. In advanced cases, in cases with additional infections, or to prevent the development of secondary bacterial skin infections at the sites where the trophons exited, it's recommended to combine Exit with Asher 2000. We wish you healthy fish, happy fish keeping, and see you soon!